Hey everybody, give me Raffle Chips here, and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved. And this is Loki, who is also my dog in real life. But he's also my dog in this game. And he has a level up. Alright, uh, today we are going to take a look at taming things and the different ways to tame stuff. Oh, uh, this is my new Tech Raptor. His name is Nerd, because, you know, Tech Raptor makes him a nerd. Ah! <laughs> What a joke. Hey, he actually looked at me. What a guy. Um, anyways, today we are going to take a look at two different types of taming. There is passive, and I think Phyllis is new too. Another tech stegosaurus with a different color variation. Um, there are two different types of taming. There's the knockout method and the passive tame. And I'm going to take a look at both of them, kind of explain them a little bit to you guys. But first, I need to find things to tame. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. This guy here. Okay. Put taming food in last item slot to feed. Um, I'm not sure what he eats. <laughs> but this is one method of taming. Actually, there's kind of three methods, I guess, depending on how you think about it. Um, okay, so I would put the taming food in the last slot, which I don't have, or in, I don't know what he eats, and I guess I don't really want to tame that, because I don't know the pros and cons of having one. And so, I need to find something else for you guys. There used to be a Sarko over here, but I think I killed it, because it tried to eat me. And that's bad. Uh, I tamed dodos, but that's... Um, you just walk up and punch those, I guess. And that would be the knockout method. Because if I shoot them with a trank dart, they die. I've tried. Okay. This is a parasaur. They're great beginning mounts. Great. There's a pterodon over there as well. But, um, great beginning mounts. They eat berries. Uh, these guys here are jerks. They steal your stuff. Damn. There you go. I was ambushed by one and it stole my water jar. Okay. Then I shot him with a trank dart. Or a trank arrow. But okay. Um, I want my water jar back. And... Give him an egg. He won't eat an egg. I have a feeling that he is a predator, so he would need meat. And you would just put raw meat in the inventory of that dinosaur. I'm going to try berries, because I'm not sure what he eats. But, um, if he's a herbivore, uh, you'd be able to put that in his inventory, and I can't. So, he's a carnivore. And... Would you settle down over there? So let's find something else to play with, I guess. Ah, uh, Triceratops. Blink. Um. Oh, I should tell you guys, uh, before I started this video, uh, because I assumed I was going to get mauled by things. Stop it. I turned damage down so I don't get murdered while trying to show you guys stuff. But you can see um, how many trank arrows it takes to take things down, because I didn't mess with that at all. Okay, and so I need some berries, well, some more berries. Because these guys take a while. Oh, he's a level one, that's cute. All right, throw some berries in here and if you look at him, see how it says taming 0.8? That's because he ate a berry. And so, with that, the taming efficiency is 99.1. I think I also might have turned taming... I definitely turned taming speed up for this. But anyways, yes, he's a herbivore. He's going to eat berries. But um, he also is going to have a preferred kibble. Kibble's made with eggs and a couple other things. I don't typically use kibble. Unless I'm taming something massive, and I really want it. 
but for most things, berries work great. You just have to find a bunch of them. And then, yep, you just knock them out with a trank dart, or if you're really brave, you can go up and punch stuff or hit it with a club. Or there's also trank darts that you can put in a gun, like the long neck rifle. And that seems to work pretty good, too. Get out of here, Parasaur. Yeah, go on. Get out of here. But yeah, but as you can see, he's eating the berries and everyone's happy now. And he will eventually, if I continue to feed him berries, become my newest pet. But I don't necessarily want to try Ceratops. Uh, I'm doing pretty good with my Stegosauruses right now. And you can see the berries in his inventory are disappearing. What is going on down there? Okay, and as you can see, he's pretty much out of berries, and I don't feel like filling his berries back up. And so that's... The two methods of taming stuff is passive and knockout. Passive is harder, in my opinion, than just knocking him out and waiting. But I'm probably going to leave this guy here because I don't really want it. Alright, and so being back at my my lovely house. That's Ralph. He's pink and kind of lime yellow. That was part of the Easter thing. A um, bunch of dinosaurs were weird colors and there were bunny dodos and all sorts of stuff. But he... Parasaurs are some of the best mounts to get from the start. They can carry a lot of weight. They're relatively fast. Um, dire wolves, I love them. They are awesome. But they are a hard tame. And there's the Ar Argentavis up there. They are the cool looking eagle things. And they, um, they're great. They're pro they are one of my favorite dinosaurs. I take it everywhere, really. They have great sta- they're a flyer. They have great stamina. Their carry weight is ridiculous. And, uh, from their uh, apart from their carry weight and their stamina being very high their pack also doubles like their saddle also doubles as like a smithy and so you can craft everything that's an Argentavis over there. there's a couple of them so you can pretty much craft anything you would need to know and they are carnivores so you would just feed them raw meat um, I use mutton <laughs> to tame carnivores, and that's just because I found some Ovis. I found a pair of Ovis through my travels, which Ovis are very hard to find, and they don't spawn very often. They're a rare spawn, and they, when you kill them, they drop mutton, which is great. What are you guys doing? Okay. Then, Phil and Charles over there killing little things that don't matter. I want them to kill those Argentavises if they get too close. But I think that's all for today when it comes to taming. There's passive and knockout. Uh, knockout is the easier one to do. Passive is kind of difficult. But on that note, take it easy guys and thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below.